No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was. I think Kenny just likes arguing with everybody, doesn't he? Like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat oh, where we that. can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. <clears throat> Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Krista and Omi need anything, okay? Okay. Well, that's the back door, so we don't really need to check that door. Nothing. Water's off. Why would water be off? You haven't paid the water bill. The zombies don't know how to turn it off. Yeah, but water come. Oh, I see where you're going. I'm not that hungry. So I don't need to yeah, finish I'm checking the downstairs. Oh, the food. Dog's dead, why would they have dog food? All clear in here. Just one more to check. Just one more. I think it's gonna be bad news. What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, uh, just some dog food. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Can I... Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. 
I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. <sighs> Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Why don't you go up then, you fucking prick? Stay here. Because he's a dick in. Jesus, the hell is that? Oh my God. Kinda looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Nick. Before it was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. You need to do this. I know. I just... Oh, God. Here. This'll make you <clears throat> clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. I know that you can. I couldn't even help my own boy. That was your own flesh and blood. No father could have done that. But you can help this boy. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. Should bury him. I'll take care of it. Thank you. 
<clears throat> Took forever at this rate. Yeah, <laughs> told him that. Uh, yeah, he told me. Nick! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. So why did you refer to him as a hen? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. Just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. Walkers we stuck around here long enough. Out. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. Lee, say something. Tell him we're not ready to leave yet. Homid can barely even walk. Is he gonna be any more ready to leave tomorrow? After that wound of his has had another day to fester? His best chance, our best chance, is to get the hell out of here before our situation gets any worse. Kenny's right, Krista. The sooner we find someplace else, the better. Are you just gonna sit this one out? Great. Just great. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. I don't trust some to babysitter. So, you're just gonna leave on the bench here? Yeah. No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? Yeah. You know they got Clem killed out there. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. You'll feel me, skinny boy. I feel like someone's watching us. Everything changes.